All right, y'all, the phone cut out, so I'm going to just turn this into a part two. I'm going to make it quick, though. So, I guess, basically, things didn't work out with him and Rebecca. So, he, you know, wrote me in the summertime on Snapchat. He tried to reach out to me, and I was just like, nah, I don't even want to talk to you. Like, I don't got nothing to say to you. I don't respect you. Like, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Because he going to have... Rebecca say, oh, I'm arguing with him. And she's she going to say, oh, if you don't stop harassing my boyfriend, I'm going to contact the authorities. And it's like, yo, shut the, I just, like, shut the, uh, like, you don't even know, dude. Like, you just was talking mad smack about him to me. And now, uh, now like, a day later, oh, this is my man. Like, you, like, you staking claims or something. Like, I knew this dude way longer than you. Pipe down, you know? But, you know, certain people, they always want to call the cops. So, that's what they do. But, anyway. um, Anyway. um, You know, he called himself apologizing to me. And I already knew their little relationship didn't work out. Because that's why he's coming back to apologize. So, I think I went on his Facebook to confirm. And sure enough, like, I didn't see no photos or no, no stuff like that. He was like basically like he posted that video where Bad Bunny was like the the doll crying over the girl thing like that. So so I already knew he was going through it. But he basically was like, Oh, you was right about everything you said and cause I, I called I called him out and I basically I basically called her out as a fake and phony because girl, you know you was talking about me on the phone with dude. You know, like, stop, let's stop playing here. But I basically call her fake and a phony, too. But, um, yeah, I basically called her out for trying to talk about something. Oh, I'm harassing her man. Girl, please. But anyway, um, yeah, he came to me apologizing. And I was like, I asked him, I said, are you being sincere? Or are you just saying it just to say it? He's like, no, it's sincere. I understand how you feel. I, I want to apologize because the way I treated you was wrong. And I should have never treated you like that. And da da this, da da that. So, fast forward to today, right? I text him, like, two days ago. I said, yo, he's going to ask me, what do you want? And then I said, I was like, oh, you get it real spicy. You get it real fiery and spicy. I said, I hope you talking to, the way you talking to me. I know you wasn't talking to her like that. I know you wasn't talking to Rebecca like that. So tone it down and correct yourself because you're getting a little too spicy. So he basically told me, oh, the day you stop comparing yourself to people is the day you will have your confidence and the day I will love myself. Who the, who the, who the hell he talking to? Sir, I love myself, okay? I don't want to be nothing than what I am, okay? I like my hair the way it is. I like my face the way it is. I like my stature and my body and my form the way it is. I just need to tone, I just need to tone up my gut. But I'm fine with how I am, sir. Last I checked, you was the one complaining about your balding head and your big beer belly, Okay? We all got insecurities, though, so I'm not even going to go there. But I'm just saying, you're you're the one that's trying to, I guess, lose weight to look more appealing. So we're not going to go there with confidence and self-love, okay? But that that's what really got me heated and pissed off for him to come out his mouth like that. So I said, oh, I love myself. And he was like, yeah, right, sure you do, sure you do. He's being real sarcastic with it to top it off. And then on top of that, he's going to tell me, oh, I'm coming at him like a pit bull. Why would he want to speak to somebody like a pit bull? First of all, sir, I haven't spoken on the phone with you in over a year. We don't, we don't talk. The majority of our talking is via texting. So how I'm not writing caps. All my letters is in lowercase. I'm not saying any profane words 
I'm not saying any derogatory words. I'm not cursing. I'm talking regular English. So how am I coming at you like a pit bull? Oh, so you're basically insinuating me being the angry black girl, right? The angry black woman. Oh, the aggressive woman, right? Like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle said in the documentary on Netflix, those racial undertones, okay? That's what that's called, racial undertones. Because how am I coming at you aggressive and like a pit bull? It's your, and that's why you're not having no luck and no success in your love life. Because you too judgmental, okay? You too, you think you better than people. 